Then track practice, homework, and dinner. If I want to volunteer, it's the night shift. When do you sleep? <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> Let me check my schedule. <laughs> You seriously need to check this out. This is awesome. Thanks for coming to my tryout, guys. Like I'd miss the chance to watch you kick some butt. <laughs> Come on, let's move! Yes. That's my girlfriend. <laughs> Derek's just not used to being that close to a girl. Run it again. Peg, don't fall this time, huh? On the ball. You need me to sub in for you, Derek? No. Okay, I got this. Obviously, I chose our weak link for this little drill. Actually, Derek runs one of our fastest 40s, and she beat him by like two meters. You're awesome, babe. Hey, let's hit the shower, except for you, Heg. Run some laps after that poor display. Let's go. Are you serious? You heard me. So, did I make the team or what? Let's not jump any guns. I have to see what the school board rules say about a girl playing football. Zero, the grassy football trophies. This year, I'd like to change that. Look, you saw me. I'm fast. I can catch. What about a girl sport? You took away their funding and gave it to football, remember? Oh, well, football can be dangerous. I played rugby at Lakehurst. It's basically the same, except without any padding. I can do this. And you're not doing this just to meet boys? No, no. Well, the board says I can't exclude you from playing, so grab equipment from one of the guys and show up to practice. I will not let you down, coach. Oh. And one more thing. If you're on the boys' team, that makes you one of the boys. No special treatment, understood? Yeah. Playing on the boys' team but changing with the girls? Sounds like the dream of a budding lesbian. Hey, I like it that she's in here. Better than in the boys' room, ogling my staff. Whatever. It's amazing that you're playing. This team could seriously use your old rugby skills. Uh, I don't know much about football, hun, but you should be bigger on top. Um, the guys must have forgotten to give me my shoulder pads. See? She's too small for football. He's very funny. Where are my pads? <laughs> I think I got one. <laughs> <laughs> For those heavy flow days. It's gonna be some blood loss out there. <laughs> Fortunately, this is all the padding I'll need against you wimps. <laughs> Degrassi, new episode next Friday night at 8 Eastern. Only on the end. In the first ever iCarly movie, what starts as an adventure ends in sabotage. They kidnapped us and ditched us in the middle of nowhere. I Go to Japan, the brand new iCarly movie premieres Saturday, November 8th at 8. If credit card debt is taking over your life, please write down this number, 1-800-CARE-123. I see people every day that are on the brink. They're going to go over the edge and at the bottom is a bankruptcy and we pull them back and they appreciate it. Call for Care One Credit Counseling Services to help put an end to the worry, the collection calls, the sleepless nights without bankruptcy. You do get to consolidate your payments. You don't have to worry about making one payment a month instead of making three, four, or five. A Care One Credit Counselor knows how to listen and can help you reduce your payments, pay off debts faster, and stay out of debt. People are truly amazed when they call us and they see what we can do to help them. I mean, the relief in their voice is just... This makes the job worthwhile. Call 1-800-CARE-123 to speak to a CARE-1 credit counselor. It's 15 minutes that can change your life. And the sooner you call, the easier it is. CARE-1 for you. We can do amazing things. Get into the rhythm and recycle and pre-cycle. Log on to nick.com slash biggreenhelp. Ever ask?
ask yourself, would I survive a zombie attack? What's my horror movie death? Or how evil am I? The answers to these and other terrifying questions are only at the end.com. Once enlightened, check out the other Halloween treats. Dress up. Attend a screening party to vomit all over scary movies. And you can even stack some shrunken heads. Seriously. So log on to the end.com now. And by the way, just how evil are you? Mom? Honey, come pray with me. I can save you. When she was born... I know what you are. A deal was made to save her life. What's happening to me? Your soul belongs to the devil. But the day she turns 18... You have no idea what you're about to become. Her soul will belong to them. Is it too late for me? Of course. The Haunting of Molly Hartley. Rated PG-13. Start 20 October 31st. I'm not going to bed right now. I'm going to college. Thousands of people go to college in their pajamas every day. How is this possible? Because you can go to college online without leaving your home. Using your computer to get an online degree is really smart and easy. In fact, people with a degree on average earn a million dollars more in their lifetime. So, how do you find a good online school? Well, get your computer and go online right now. Education Connection is a free service that connects hundreds of people each day to the best online colleges. And you don't want to pick the wrong online school. So, ladies, slip on your cute little fluffy slippers and guys, cover up, please. And log on now and Education Connection will send you their free success kit stuffed with information on online schools, scholarships, even degrees that take the least amount of time. This is a hundred dollar value and it's yours free. Log on now to schoolanytime.com. That's schoolanytime.com. Schoolanytime.com. Felix. Colin. Sorry, this whole place is starting to feel like a morgue. Revealing Degrassi, the truth comes out yeah, way before it's ready. Maybe secret safe. Maybe we should talk. Or that's true. I don't know what you're talking about. Degrassi returns in two weeks, only on the end. Dear Will, I just wanted to let you know how much I enjoy watching your show. I mean, you're so funny. Me? So tall. <laughs> I feel like I know you. Really know you. But I don't like it when you flirt with those other girls. It hurts, Will. Call it acting all you want, but I know those skanks are probably all over you when you go to a commercial break. So help me. If I ever catch any of them touch you again, there will be hell to pay. I love you, Will. And I'll be watching you weeknights at 10 Eastern, right here on The End. Yo, yo, yo! Woo! Yo, yo, yo! Yo, yo, yo! <laughs> Watch out, world! I love my life. I'm not gonna mess it up with a pregnancy.
You've seen the movie. Now you can own the music. High School Musical 3 Senior Year Soundtrack. Featuring all new songs. You can order the High School Musical 3 Soundtrack for $19.98 plus $4.95 shipping and handling. Available now. Must be 18 year olds to order. I'm not going to bed right now. I'm going to college. Thousands of people go to college in their pajamas every day. How is this possible? Because you can go to college online without leaving your home. Using your computer to get an online degree is really smart and easy. In fact, people with a degree on average earn a million dollars more in their lifetime. So, how do you find a good online school? Well, get your computer and go online right now. Education Connection is a free service that connects hundreds of people each day to the best online colleges. And you don't want to pick the wrong online school. So, ladies, slip on your cute little fluffy slippers and guys, cover up, please. And log on now and Education Connection will send you their free success kit stuffed with information on online schools, scholarships, even degrees that take the least amount of time. This is a hundred dollar value and it's yours, free. Log on now to schoolanytime.com. That's schoolanytime.com. Schoolanytime.com. Specimen, isn't it? He's a zombie now, but his spinner instincts are still there. Must get some. Hey guys, Hi. I hope you enjoyed our scary little number there. Degrassi the Dead. I'm Cassie Steele. I'm Lauren Collins, if you don't know that by now. Yeah, so we're gonna take you on a little behind the scenes tour of uh, what filming was like that day. We actually shot that entire thing in one day. It was kind of crazy. One day that was 13 hours. So, Lauren, before we uh, get to the behind the mm -hmm. scenes, um, I uh, what I want to know what you're scared of. Okay, I'm scared of Mark Donato's hair in that last scene of the mini. That was well, we all baby making central. I'm a little uh, scared. I don't want to be caught. A that. little scary. Um, what am I scared of? Um... Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, my God. I hate you. Okay, okay. I, I We're like going to go you. take a look at some um, behind-the-scenes footage. Mm -hmm. One. I can't wrap my hair that way. Oh. Okay. Uh, Behind-the-scenes. Oh. Okay. Oh, he's going to kill you. Zombies are attacking Degrassi. What are we going to do? This is maniac chaos. This is the end of the world. And there are very few survivors left, and they're chased by zombies. Jimmy turns into a zombie. Um, Emma's a zombie. Pretty much everybody's a zombie except me, Paige, and Derek. Zombies are attacking the world, so where else do you go? You go to Degrassi, obviously. One by one, uh, we're trying to stick together, but we start to get pegged off. Well, that. And as you can see, we're crawling through vents. I'm really dirty. 
screaming and running and terror. We're laying on the floor. Our clothes all smell like latex and soot. I've never done a horror movie before, so this is like my first little taste of it. It's a very active webisode. That's what, that's what it's about here at Degrassi. Before we started this scene, I came down to set and I was like, oh my god, like everything. They put so much detail. There's fingerprints on all the glass. The blinds are everywhere. There's garbage everywhere. I'm, I, I'm glad I don't have to clean it up. I was just talking to Stefan and it's not going to be campy. It's going to be like serious, which is kind of fun because I've always wanted to be in a horror movie. This is the most, uh, the most intricate menu we've ever put together. Like with the, I think we blew our entire budget on this one. So I think next time you're gonna have to watch out for like finger puppets and all that stuff, which will also be cool, like challenging in a different way. It was so cool this morning. I came in like a little later than everyone else, and everyone was already done, and they all look incredible, and they put so much work into it. It's the mad scientist and his faithful assistant. This is how you make a zombie. Very fun. We don't get to do stuff like this all the time, so. Here's the here's the question I have as a man. <laughs> Let's hear it. Um, when you and Cassie were enclosed in that in that sort of vent, what um what what was going through your head? Like, I mean, you're staring right into my knees really hurt. Really? Yeah, like I'm pretty sure the next day, like bruises all over my leg. Just hands. tell me. I just, just want to know. Because, like, I had dreams about that sequence for, like, many oh nights. Well, ask Lauren. I don't know. What we <laughs> Your voice cracked. She's yeah. a little nervous <laughs> over here. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, it was it was a load. It was actually, like, one of the first things we did on the day, I think. Was it the first thing we did? I don't know about that. Anyways, yeah. about this. Oh. Oh. oh yeah, what about oh, this oh, action? Oh, oh, like, oh, the neck. And how you were, like, eight feet tall. That? How I was eight feet tall while I'm actually eight feet tall. So. How did they do that though? Because you look like you were like elevating or well, levitating. Well, I was up on the platform, and I was um, crouched down behind Melissa, and I just stood up. Okay, what about the bite on her Jeez. neck? Because that was creepy. <laughs> <laughs> I did this thing where like I started at her neck uh -huh. and then I like reversed and did this sort of like Rawr. you know and then <laughs> one more time, one more time. Rawr. Rawr. Thank you. And then uh, and then they reversed it in post so it looked like I was like Rawr. instead of Rawr. walking. <laughs> I think my favorite part of you as a zombie was when you were like channeling Cookie Monster. I know. Rawr. Because I couldn't think of any more appropriate <laughs> sound to make other cookies. Cookie. Cookies. So, but they made it sound great, though. Yeah, I think at one point you can clearly hear me say cookies. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah I know. <laughs> and they, I just remember, like, buckets of blood, like, pouring down. And, like, yeah. it kept, like, going the wrong way and, like, yeah. spurting. It was, gross. Yeah. it was gross for her. Um, I just got bit by Aubrey. So we had a shot of blood dripping down my back. But in order to get that beautiful shot, uh, we stuck a tube of blood in my hair. So Josie's trying to maneuver all these pins out of my hair where the blood was coming out of and now apparently I'm rattled on my back but I haven't seen it yet. We need light! This is all, you know, fine and good that we're here, but I'm pretty Where's sure we, we weren't the only ones that were part of Degrassi of the Dead. Oh, oh no! Ah. Even as the walking dead, she looks pretty. She's so scary. Miriam. Yeah. Miriam. Yeah. I, and like, I really like, she got like really into it. I think, yeah, I think Miriam did a great job. And I think that she was so like in that, that sequence where the blood's coming down the wall. Um, no, the dream sequence. Yeah, that's what I'm like, talking about. Nah, like, yeah, she just really freaked me out. She's so weird. Well, this is me zombified. We're to shoot the first part of the zombie mini. I'm pretty excited. Well, I don't blow up. I just, I'm dead and I stay dead and I guess I kind of attack people. Age is one of the few that survives most of the way until at the very end. She sacrifices her own life, makes out with Danny. No, Derek. Danny or Derek? Yeah. I always get them confused. Derek. And, and then she gets blown up. Oh, crap. 
So what happened with you? What were you? I mean, because I saw you almost had like a leap, like your your strides were very like sort of full. I jumped I could over sense the camera. Real fear, yeah, I think yeah. is what he's saying. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a really loud bang. And you had like earplugs in, and the whole yeah, thing. I had Didn't earplugs you? in. Action, Kathy. Earplugs. Kathy, action! <laughs> I can't hear anything. So basically, basically, what you're saying is that there's no explosion at all, and some. No, no, there was an explosion. Huge, I just loud said explosion. it was cardboard, and there was like a big loud bang, and there's it was like a special effect. So it was basically, a boom. You know. Action! <laughs> Holy, my heart, my heart's beating like a thousand I just felt like I was in like, I don't even know. I don't want to die, I want to live. Oh crap. Well, look great. You look great. Did you, how was your kiss with Mark Donato? The kiss was pretty hot. Let's repopulate. Sexy <laughs> love. We got right in there on rehearsal. There was no no uh, no holding back. Really? Donato. He was like, he had me. He like held me like a a real man holds a real. He did. He like he packs a lot of punch for you know. Oh, okay. I know, Mark Donato. Maybe a little too much. <laughs> no. Well, it was fun. Um, definitely, I think we should get into some more behind yeah. the scenes. The scenes here, you guys are behind it. And, uh, so stick around. Stick around. Enjoy. We'll be right back. On the next South of Nowhere, relationships are on the edge. This just isn't working. You're going to dump me and at least call it what it is. And temptation becomes hard to resist. I just need something to do with my hands. Well, there are other options, you know? Oh, yeah? <laughs> of nowhere the final episode returns in two weeks only on the end that's me true jack so get this i'm the new vp of this fashion empire and i'm only 15. Ooh. my new co-workers aren't exactly going easy on me so we all have things that make us happy Mine is working with adults. But there are definitely some perks to this job. And with my best friends by my side... Cool shade! This place is ridiculous! I just might be a hit. True Jackson VP. The brand new show premieres Saturday, November 8th on Nick. Mixmaster Mike, serial wax killer, DJ for the Beastie Boys, founding member of the Invisible Scratch Pickles. Well, for me, it started out like a, from tape decks. From there, I got turntables. And then that's when the battling started. I started battling people in their garages, battling people for state championships. A lot of practice, a lot of blood, sweat, and tears for that. 1991, I met um, MCA. Adam Yock at a Rocksteady anniversary. I gave him a business card and said, yo, if you need any, uh, help on anything just give me a holler and um we exchanged phone numbers then they all called me yeah, they told me they were working on the new hello nasty record and they flew me out after a two-week session with them in the studio they asked me to become a become their dj I'll, I'll turn the power on and start hitting the drums doing going through my 100 different scratches and then i'll be like oh wow that beat needs something and then I'll add something to it, and I'll go back to my scratching. I go, oh, I need something else. And then it starts turning into, then I start producing. So it's like these scratch sessions turn into actual songs. The objective of it was to make a remix that you can actually sit in your car and you can listen to. I didn't want to make something that would be like, okay, I made it, here it is. That's it. I'm never going to listen to it again. I wanted to make something I can look back on and, and show my kids. You know, like this is what I made to kind of, you know, help change the world in that sense. You know the drill? It's the mix master. Get it through your head. You know the drill? You know the drill? Get it through your head. You know the drill? You know the drill? 
282. Pimp your cell with cool wallpapers. Text SKIN to 282. Treat your cell to a makeover with great wallpapers now. Just text SKIN to 282. Subscription cost just $9.99 per month. Hello? Mrs. Anderson, this is Mark Brown. I'm from the collections department. Listen, I'm sorry I haven't sent in my payment yet. I'll, I'll get it in as soon as I can. And Mrs. Anderson, I'm noticing a pattern in your payment history. Since you've reached your spending limit, you've only been paying the minimum balance. Is that a problem? Well, no, but then your payments started coming later and later, and now you haven't been sending well, any at all. Some things have come up, and... Maybe you should call in charge. They'll work with you and come up with a solution that's right for you. When life hands you a little more than you can manage, call In Charge Debt Solutions. If you qualify for our debt management program, our certified credit counselors can show you how to repay your debts in a way you can manage each month without a loan or bankruptcy. Call In Charge today for a free consultation. We'll help you get control of your debt and show you how to stay that way. It's private and confidential, so make the call today. Which vampire are you? You're Dial Vampire. I am so not like that. <laughs> Get scarily accurate quiz results now at TheEnd.com. So, is it true? Yes, Donna, it is true. I am carrying Michael Kelso's child. Jackie, you're a sophomore. How can you be so stupid? I'm a sophomore. Like you, <laughs> Only funnier. That 70s show. Weeknights at midnight. Honestly, I have to, I have to commend the director because, like you said, we shot it oh, in this like whole thing. one it's like day. His vision. And it's like, yeah, it's like, it's like, a, it's an amazing vision. Can we reveal oh, who the director is? Uh, Get over here. Stephon come on, come on, Bogdan. Bogdan. Stephon Bogdan. 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 It was a crazy day, nonetheless. Every worth day it, though. Guys. Like, how worth it was it? I think it looks awesome. Yeah. One of the best things we've, like, ever done here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think it's Super amazing. great. I Super can't wait. Amazing crew, amazing everyone. I can't wait to do part two. Ooh. It does kind of leave it open for some kind of... Not really. Everyone's kind of dead. All right, guys. Uh, well, happy Halloween from all of us here at Degrassi, Thanks myself. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Lauren Collins thank and you. Cassie Steele. And, uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Happy Halloween. Don't get too scared. Or eat too much candy. The evil dead shall roam the night. Their cold white eyes cause such a fright. In search of flesh, they'll suck your brain, they'll devour your guts, they feel no pain. They chewed on ash and feasted on Jay, they ate his throat with no delay. Undead Jimmy, a zombie that grooves, come on rotting homeboy, bust some funky moves to the robot, to the robot. To, 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 to the robot. The school's in flames. All is lost. Manny got to the bus. But at what cost? The students perished. Their flesh was fed. Your soul won't rest. At the grassy of the dead. Ah!